Hello, hey y'all. Happy, what is today? Thursday, December 26th. So we are continuing the Christmas story today. Yesterday we read Luke 2 and um, the birth of Christ and the shepherds and then them taking Jesus to the temple. And today we are going to read from Matthew 3. The other players, who, of course, we have talked about this Christmas season. Um, I said three, but I did, Matthew chapter two, that's where we're going. The coming of the wise men. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, the wise men, astrologers from the east, came to Jerusalem asking, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east at its rising and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was disturbed and troubled, and the whole of Jerusalem with him. So he called together all the chief priests and learned men, the scribes of the people, and anxiously asked them where the Christ was to be born. And they replied to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it is written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are not in any way least or insignificant among the chief cities of Judah. For you, from you, shall come a ruler, a leader, who will govern and shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod sent for the wise men, the astrologers, secretly and accurately to the last point ascertained from them from the time of the appearing of the star. That is, how long the star had made itself visible since its rising in the east. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go, search for the child carefully and diligently, and when you have found him, bring me word that I too may come and worship him. And when they had listened to the king, they went their way, and behold, the star which had been seen in the east in its rising went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. When they saw the star, they were thrilled with ecstatic joy. And on going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasure bags, they presented to him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And receiving an answer to their asking, they were divinely instructed and warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, so they departed to their own country by another way. Now after they had gone, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, tenderly take unto you the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you otherwise. For Herod intends to search for the child in order to destroy him. And having risen, he took the child and his mother by night and withdrew to Egypt. And they remained there until Herod's death. This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he realized that he had been misled by the wise men, was furiously enraged, and he sent and put to death all the male children in Bethlehem. And in that in all that territory who were two years old and under, reckoning according to the date which he had investigated diligently and had learned exactly from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Ramah, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be comforted because they were no more. But when Herod died, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Israel, uh, in Egypt, and said, Rise, tenderly take unto you the child and his mother, and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. Then he awoke and arose, and tenderly took the child and his mother, and they came to the land of Israel. But it was heard, but because he heard that Ar Archelaus, was ruling over Judea in the place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go there, and being divinely warned in a dream, he withdrew to the region of Galilee. He went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what was spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene, which means a branch and a separated one. Oh my I have enjoyed reading the word with you this week, and I hope that you have enjoyed it as well. Tomorrow, we're going to kind of tie all these ends together and um, talk about some pieces 
that we just need to pull out and discuss. But I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, y'all.